Well, hi, everybody. Uh, it's lovely to be here. So my name is Neja. I'm head of product at Adspert. Um, and we are essentially an AI Amazon ads automation tool. We focus on profit optimization. So we take advertisers campaigns and we make sure that the results that they get out of them are top notch based on our algorithm. So since we focus on Amazon ads, the hack naturally has to do with Amazon ads. Um, more specifically, it has to do with making sure that you maximize your sponsor product budget and get the most bang for your buck. Um, it's no secret nowadays that Amazon ads is getting more and more expensive, adding to the bouquet of challenges that Amazon sellers and vendors are facing on a daily basis. So making sure that you can squeeze the most out of your budget, it's more important than ever. And if you're lucky enough uh, to not have any of those challenges, I mean, who wouldn't want to get the most out of their Amazon ads campaign budgets either way? Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can do that. And we at Adspert, we also apply different practices or different techniques to try and achieve that. But what I'd like to share with you today, the hack I'd like to share with you today is something anybody can try without the need of a tool. So I'd like to focus on the one of the native Amazon ads features, budget rules. Um, they can serve as an extra layer of control over your budget. Uh, they've been available for a while now, but with Amazon ads now sharing daily and hourly data as well, there's an opportunity there to leverage them more and better. So who is this most suitable for? We find that it's most interesting for advertisers that notice very clear tendencies in purchasing behavior. So let's say you're selling very specific products, um, construction, for example, and you notice that your volume and conversion rates are at their peak during standard working hours. So let's say Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And outside of those times, you still see some conversions, but the ACOS is significantly, significantly higher and you're worried you're wasting money. So the challenge here is to shift your budget to the days and perhaps even times of days where it's much more plausible for you to achieve the best possible results without having to increase your, let's say, overall weekly or monthly budgets. Now, as I mentioned, there are a lot of ways to do that. You can do it manually with the tool, but if you're interested in dipping your toes in this approach, I'd encourage you to use um, Amazon Ads campaign budget rules as a cost free, like as a free and a time efficient option. They essentially help you schedule budget increases on specific days and times of days even. So you don't need to worry about doing it yourself and you don't need to be take, uh, changing your bids either. So to give you a four step, I believe, approach on how you do that, uh, you first get the data, uh, your campaign hourly and daily data from Amazon ads reports for your sponsor products campaigns. You download them. And you need to do a bit of pivot magic. Unfortunately, the reports don't work out of the box for most use cases. So just with a bit of pivot magic, you figure out which campaigns or the, the days of week and times of day where your conversion rate and revenue or your KPI of choice are the best to identify the campaigns where budget rules might make sense. Now, you might do that and figure out that it's only a few of your campaigns that you can identify. That's totally fine. In fact, I'd argue it's even better because this way you have campaigns that are like exploring the market at all times, whereas with others, you can kind of play the efficiency game. Um, next, and this is only because of how Amazon works, you need to reduce the budget for the campaigns where you want to use the budget rule. This is very important because Amazon ads only allows the budget rules to increase campaign budgets, but not decrease them. So if you don't do that step before, you might end up increasing over the top, which is not great. This step is not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, we can't avoid it. Um, either way, in the UI, um, you can see that at the very bottom, it tells you what the increase would be. So you have some fail checks there or fa safeguards, safeguards there. So once your budgets are reduced, you can then go ahead and set up the uh, budget rules. Uh, uh, Nisha, for... one minute left. Thank you. For every campaign that you have identified, it's a very simple UI. You can see it here um, on the screenshot as well. I am talking specifically about the schedule budget rules, not the performance ones. Those are a different conversation to be had. And once that is all set, you then start, you wait, you observe, and you iterate. Nothing works out of the box on Amazon ads or anywhere in life, I would say. Um, so you need to show some patience, iterate, uh, supervise, and with some tweaking, I'm sure you can get it to work for your specific use case. 
And that is much that is pretty much it. Thank you very much. And yes, we are obsessed with gifts at Adspert. So here you go. Uh, if you have any questions or would like to continue this chat or any other chat about Amazon ads, feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to chat. So thank you. Okay.